So this is a review on the Fulton Fish Market, the uh, online store. This is how the package came, and apologies ahead of time uh, for the crap quality. I recorded this on my cell phone, I don't really have a GoPro or a tripod or anything. I had to use my girlfriend for a tripod. <clears throat> but yeah, they packaged it pretty well. It came in fairly fast too, like two days later. Um, the fish looked pretty fresh too, the eyes were clear, there was no smell or anything like that. If you fish like I do, uh, you'll also probably love that it came with a bunch of ice packs as well. They're reusable, they have a slight scent to it, just rinse it real fast, throw it in the freezer, it'll be fine. But yeah, it was free ice, which was pretty nice. <clears throat> Yeah, the fish I ordered were Summer Flounder and Red Snapper. First thing I noticed was they scaled it, which is pretty nice if I wanted to leave skin on, and they trimmed the fins off uh, the side. Actually, they trimmed all the fins. They got it pretty well for the most part. Like, there's still, like, some little things I found in there while cleaning them, but... Uh, it wasn't much. It was fine. Like, <clears throat> didn't affect the taste quality or anything like that. Also, for those of you in the uh, southern states who fillet flounder on a daily basis, do not judge me. <laughs> this is like the fourth flatfish I've ever filleted. And I thought I did okay, but you guys want to roast me, at least wait till my like third or fourth attempt to start lighting me up in the comments. <laughs> But yeah, the it had no smell to it. The eyes were clear. The meat had some spring to it. It's a lot like a little slime on the outside too, so I could tell it was pretty fresh. Like the quality was nice. It was there. It's a lot better than um what you get from a lot of the um, like if you ever go to like grocery outlet, those packs of like frozen salmon. Like they're ugh, really strong, really smelly, strong, thick bloodline. Ugh. But nah, this had none of that. It was <clears throat> pretty good quality. If you guys are into this, I'm, I'll am i be making more videos like this in the future. Um, I'm going to do another one with the uh, Red Snapper. This will be a separate video. <clears throat> right now I'm just doing the uh, Summer Flounder. I actually filleted the Snapper beforehand. That's why there's that big knife in the corner. Because I can break some of the pin bones of my little fillet knife. They were way, way too thick. <laughs> yeah, the, the meat felt fine. It was nice, firm, had some string to it. Didn't look old and smell. All I did when I cooked it the first time was I just put a little bit of Everglades um, Everglades fish and chicken <laughs> then add some uh, mayonnaise on the left I was gonna do a parmesan crusting it was mayo mixed up with uh, parmesan lime juice pepper parsley uh, smidge of Everglades all-purpose and I was gonna lather the fish up with that and then press some panko breadcrumbs on it which, it came out pretty good. The only thing I would do different is add some, like, cayenne to it or some of that. Just give it a little more heat. But it came out pretty good. When I tasted it, too, the taste was there. The You can tell it was actually a high-quality fish. It was fresh. Like, I would order from them again. It wasn't too bad. $37 for a 3-pound summer flounder. Significantly cheaper than the California flounder. Or California halibut we have over here. Which is like $22 a pound. So, that, there's that bonus. And it came here pretty fast. Like, 2 or 3 days. I'll be doing some fishing videos in the future. I just haven't recently. Because it's been a crap winter over here in California for that but I'm gonna do another uh, full online store video if you guys are into these then let me know I'll start making more of them but if not I, I might still do like one or two more I don't know well anyways thank you for watching and I'll see you next time